Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert 1 sixth to a decimal. Now when we convert a fraction to a decimal, we can do this by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. So for 1 sixth, we can set this up as 1 divided by 6. Then we go through the division process. So we have 1 divided by 6. How many whole groups of 6 in 1? How many 6s in 1? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a 0 in order to work through this. And once we have that decimal and the 0, we bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer, will be. Now we can think of this as 10 divided by 6. So how many whole groups of 6 in 10? Well, 1. And we need to make sure that 1 is above the 0, since we used that 0 and thought of this as 10. And that will line us up correctly. Now we multiply. 1 times 6 is 6. Subtract 10 minus 6 is 4. Now we don't have a clean cut 0 there at the bottom, so we need to continue on here by using another 0 that we can bring down. So now we have 40. 40 divided by 6. How many whole groups of 6 in 40? Well, 6. Let me extend this division bar. So 6 up here. Now we multiply. 6 times 6, 36. Subtract. 40 minus 36 is 4. So we get 4 again. So we need to use another 0 that we can bring down. And we have 40 again. So 40 divided by 6, which is 6. 6 times 6, 36. Subtract, 40 minus 36 is 4. We can use another 0 and bring that down to continue on. But you may notice a pattern here. And this is going to continue on forever, giving us a repeating decimal. Those sixes are going to go on forever. So we can stop there and write this decimal as 0 0.16 and then put a bar above the 6 to show that that digit repeats. So 1 sixth equals 0 0.16 and the 6 is repeating. And that's one way to write out a repeating decimal. Another option is to round, and we can round to whatever place we would like. But for this example, let's round to the tenths place and the hundredths place. Let's start with the tenths. So one sixth is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol here since we are rounding, it's not exact. We have a one in the tenths place, with a six in the hundredths. So this rounds up to two tenths. So one sixth is approximately two tenths. Now let's round to the hundredths. So one sixth is approximately, we have a six in the hundredths with a six in the thousandths. So this rounds up to 17 hundredths. So one sixth is approximately 17 hundredths. So some different options there as far as writing out a repeating decimal. We can use a bar above a repeating digit or digits to show that they repeat or we can round. So there you have it. There's how to convert 1 sixth to a decimal. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.